That's before he's going to be doing the prayer. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this day, oh God. Amen. We thank you for all the many blessings that you blessed us. Yes, Lord. Oh God, we thank you for thank keeping you, us Lord. safe, oh thank God. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh God, we thank, thank you, you for this thank church, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you for all the members and pastors and elders that's Hallelujah. in this church, yes, oh God. Yes. Father God, we just yes. thank you yes. for yes. all the wonderful things mm -hmm. that you have done for yes. us. Oh God, we asking you today, yeah. Father, yeah. Oh, to look out for the people that's watching on Facebook today, yeah. God. Yeah. Father God, we ask you to bless them today, God. Father God, lift them yeah. up on high, Father God. Oh, Father God, the one that's in the hospital, God. Well, Father God, come and visit them. Yeah. Father God, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Is she ready? Amen. Yes. Okay. We got Anissa come calling from North Carolina, and she's going to do a scripture. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Thank you, Pastor and Elder, for bless you, bless you. guiding us through and continuing. The scripture. I have to share Psalm 77, verses 1 through 4 and 7 through 15. I cry out to God, yes, I shout, oh, that God would listen to me. When I was in deep trouble, I searched for the Lord. All night long I prayed, with my hands lifted toward heaven, but yes, my soul yes. was not comforted. Yes, yes. I, I think of God, and I moan overwhelmed with longing for his help. Mm -hmm. You don't let me sleep. I'm too distressed even to pray. Well, Has the Lord rejected me forever? Yeah. Is his unfailing love gone forever? Have his promises permanently failed? Has God gotten forgotten to be gracious? Has he slammed the door on his compassion? And I said, this is my fate. The Most High has turned his hand against me. But then I recall all you have done, O oh Lord. I remember all your wonderful deeds of long ago. Amen. They are constantly in my thoughts. I cannot stop thinking of your mighty works. O oh God, your ways are holy. Is there any God as mighty as you? You are the God of great wonders. You demonstrate your awesome power among the nations. By your strong arm, you redeem your people. The descendants of Jacob and Joseph. Amen. 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 We thank you for that mission. Amen. 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 Oh, the other side, you're holding them. You're holding them on the scripture. If you want to be going, I want to leave nobody out. I'm going to leave nobody out at this time. But just, you know, Amen. make sure that we, we have to combine both, you know what I'm saying, the scripture and what we're doing. That's important that we do this. Um, Amen. Praise the Lord. We got anything else? We just, we, but again, we just thank God for. Uh, Facebook and Jesus. our Facebook friends, our people, our people here, Adam, uh, Pastor McCoy, Jeremiah, and Don, and Elder, which is, and Little Keelan. We just thank God for everybody being here. We're going to continue to pray for each and every family that's going through something at this time. Um, pray for Donya, pray for Jaden, pray for our babies so you know, they can come back to church and they're going through, they're getting sick. And, but we got to trust God and continue to pray and continue to be blessed with it. What God's doing. See how Brother Robert Amen. Baby in at this time. Hallelujah. Brother Baby come in the house. Of well, the praise the Lord, Lord, everybody. Just, just Amen. Thank, Amen. thank you, Jesus. Just thanking God for that. Uh, that's important. Uh, we we'll just uh, continue to be praying up. Uh, trust in God. You know, so many things going on at this time uh, with, with the virus and. Uh, with the, what people are doing as far as the um, riding and different things going because of what, they, they, what happened last week and praise God uh, that someone you know lost their life in a situation that should never have happened 
But we have to keep on praying and, you know, we we got to trust God more. You know, at this time, we're not doing what we, sh we need to do. We need to keep trusting Him because this is the only way we're going to get out. You know, we got older people in, the younger people need to be coming in to be able to speak to the people at a, at a calm pace. They don't need to be angry, need to be fighting and doing all destroying their cities. Uh, you know, because after all this is done, said and done, they got to have their cities back. And that's that's what they need, their cities back. Uh, you know, when we think about black and black in America, a black person in America, we think, of, uh, think about now and all the death that then happen with all these situations going on. But we got to think, this happened thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago with slavery. It just didn't happen overnight. So, you know, it just didn't happen just last week when someone lost their life. You got to think about our, our ancestors and slavery time and how it was all formed. So it, it just like we have to go all the way back to bring it forward to know that we are people and we have to be treated like that. We have to be treated like a white person. We have to be treated like the next person. So we have to trust God and see what we can do. If we sit down, if we sit down and come together without being violent, without talking about, you know, having your anger or your personal feelings come out. A lot of times our personal feelings come out, even though we're angry. People are angry, and they are angry. they got a reason to be. But we got to think about our answers. What did they go through? I mean, what we're doing now is hurting our people. So people don't want to listen to us because we're, we're fighting amongst each other for something that we can't do anything about at this time. But we can pray. We have to keep on praying and trusting God and saying that we pray and we pray, but we think about answers and we think our moms and dads. So that was way back then and years ago, and Robert know and everybody and, and Pastor McCord know. This this was not just yesterday stuff happened. This stuff can happen years and years back. And so still we sat back and did nothing. We sat back and do nothing. And, you know, we can have a title, but when we have a title, we don't use that title in the right direction. Right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's great, it's fine to have a title, but if the title is dumb, then you can't do nothing with it. You, you can't do nothing with it. It just sits there. Right. So we, we agree and disagree, but we're not agreeing with what we need to do for our people. Right. And sitting down, I'm saying once a month or once a week, sitting down and talking a month, months of the, the senators, a month the governor, a month whoever, so when this stuff happened right now, so now they don't know how to handle it because it's out of control. Right. So we don't let it get out of control because the people are angry. Right. But if we think about our sisters and our, our moms and our dad, and we think of times where they had to go through. Yeah. I mean, I mean, really, if you do you think in your mind, say, I remember my mom ironing clothes. I remember my mom doing this or that extra just to get extra money because of the color of her skin. Right. So we have to go all the way back and say, woe to us. So now it's like, look at us. What, what are we doing? You know, we, we need to fight. We need to, we need to keep fighting for the right thing. We don't need to take our personal life and keep throwing it in there and saying, the changes have to come from the government. The changes have to come from the, the president, wherever it have to come from. We have to make sure that we in there at the meetings. No, everybody don't go to meetings. Everybody don't go anywhere. We sit at home and then we complain about what's going on. But we need to start getting out, going to the meetings. If they in a young SCP meetings, go to the meetings. Form a new one. The young people are here. Our kids, our grown, they're grown men and women. Form something new. This is time that they need to form something new. Say, what can we do? What can we do besides sitting back and not doing anything but fighting and destroying our cities because after this all over what are we going to do then they unemployed they don't have a job all this mess with the corona is still there we're not being safe we're out there fighting we're not being safe if you look at them putting masks on a lot of times you think they're mine, the mask was really saying is they they doing it for the corona no they doing it because when, when the police start throwing them, them smoke bomb and different things at them, that covers them so they won't get that in their face. Right. So they not, really, if you think their mind, you think the purpose, what they're doing for Because if they wasn't, they wasn't six feet apart, they all bunched together. So it's just so much going on. And we don't, you know, we, it's in our spirit because we done lived it. And we continue to live and we continue to be angry. But 
Don't be angry at something that you can't can't help change. And when you hear something that changes has to come, changes have to come. Everything in our life changes and it has to come now. But we need to keep on praying and praying hard, praying more, praying for our neighbor, praying for our people. Get the word out. It's not about when, when a preacher come up and he has to have the title to, to speak what the people need. It's about us needing each other. We all are servants. We're here to serve the Lord. We're here to be servants to the people of God. So the only way we can do that is be together as one. We cannot fight, continue to fight. The, the battle is continue to say our battle. It's our government battle. It's our, it's our president battle. It's our battle. But to the point where we need to speak out and say, what can we do to change this? What we have to do to change this situation. But keep praying and keep praying because the, the coronavirus the virus is still out there and it's still people dying every day. People are still dying every day after all this and you'll see what happens. And it's sad to say, so we, we can shut a city down. And that's the city that we live in. We can shut that down. And still we don't know how, how far that virus have got because the, the amongst the black people, we're the biggest ones that at risk at this time. As they go down the list of Indians and whatever they go down the list, we'd be the one. But I'm saying that because people got to get back to their jobs. They have to eat. They have to close their kids. They have to do different. The kids want to go back to school where they need to be. So we're stopping that. We'll stop that. Yes, that happened to the man. Yes, it happened to three other people in this last couple months. But we say that what can we do besides fighting? So people look at us, but well, let's keep fighting. And they, that's what they look at us being angry. Angry to the point we're going to keep on fighting. Trust God. Believe what God can do. He said rest in me, not rest in yourself. He said rest in me. So if we rest in him, if everything die down, we just rest in him and watch the glory of God, and you'll see what happens, the changes. But for us to, to say we have to rest in him, we have to be them people to go out to them places and have them meetings, start a meeting. But go out and don't think it's, it's about you. Because I'm telling you right now, today, we think it's about us. We truly, I'm telling you, we truly sometimes we think it's about, and it's not about us. It is not about us. It's about what can we do to change. So years ago, the, the church and stuff was so different when they elder. They weren't like they are now, so the change has come. We had to adjust to the new changes. That's right. And so now we get up, we get upset that we don't like changes. We don't like changes. But they have to come. But we couldn't do what we did back in 20, 30 years ago. What we can do now, look at all the technology. We can get Facebook, Internet. We couldn't get that 20 years ago. So, I mean, we think about that, so that's the change that has to be made. But we adjusted to the change and brought them in the church. That's so important that we, we realize that. But the changes have to come within our own self to want to change. To say, I'm, I'm, I'm angry, I'm angry, what can I do? I'm angry, it's in my spirit. You can't keep that in your spirit, but you have to release that. But re re release that in a positive way. We want, but we don't want our kids to see all this stuff going on and say, we don't have answers. But we say our ancestors were slaves, they was in slavery. It all started from there. It started from way, way back there. It didn't start just, just today. I'm telling you right now. We have to make that change and make a difference in our kids' life. Our grandbaby, our baby back there, he's just a baby. He got to grow up in this world. Yeah. But we have to make that change and let them to recognize the difference in anger and recognize who we are in Christ Jesus. We have to recognize that, and that's so important. But just keep praying and keep trusting God. Get, have your family safe, wear your mask, wear whatever you need to when you go to stores. Cover yourself. The next man might not be, but you cover yourself. That's what's important. So even though they think you're doing that for yourself, but I'm doing that for you. So if I talk with you and, and, my, and my, my breath coming out, I'm connecting to yours. So that's all right. But I'm just saying, keep safe, and you know, we all at the church always got, if you need a mask, we always got masks and gloves, whatever, you know, we just provide what we need to provide for the church. 
and the church people. But just keep keep trusting God and just keep on praying. And now we're going to go to, we're going to have a song at this time. We're going to, yes, ma'am. Does anyone else have anything? So I don't want to finish, right? Because I know, Robert, do you have anything you need to say? We just yeah, ask I, you. I just like this line and give yeah. thank to my Heavenly Father for letting me see you one more, another day. Amen. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's good to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. You know, sure, it's, it's like a new jump shot. You know, right? It's been kind of, it's been kind of hectic, Amen. but I trust God. Amen. You know, Amen. You know, Amen. He always lead and guide me in the right, yeah. right direction. You know, Amen. So, so y'all keep me in prayer. We will. I was trying to tell an elder last night, I said, hey, Robert, did you think Robert in the church? <laughs> <laughs> he was on my mind. I was just saying. Oh, he know, was on my mind. Yeah, the connection. I had the feeling that he was coming. I didn't know. But I said, he's coming. He's coming. But we just, we got a soul. Uh, you know, and you know, I'm just saying this because we can we can do testimony or we can speak out. I don't want nobody to not be able to speak out to say anything what's on their mind because it's so important that we in the church and like Robert was saying about just a new jump start and we got a new jump start, praise God that we're here. And uh, that's important that we say that, you know, when I say about a testimony said about people's uh, what they went through a whole week. And if you look at our week and now we gave them good. But God brought us through it because, so we can be in the house of the Lord one more time. So we, we got a song, Elder. You ready?
and we love him. We love you, Pastor McCoy. And we're always here for you. Uh, but if you need something, we're always here. Uh, each and every person we're here for. Um, Elder McCray will come up and do a. Is he going to want to do a service now? He wants to do a song. He's going to do a song. He's going to do a song. Okay, we can do that. Okay, we just want to do this one. Yeah, we just want to do this one. We got one for you. Yeah, we just want to do this one. Hey, glory to God.
own God. Amen. A God is so big and so powerful. Hallelujah. That he got this whole world in his hand. All right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead, preacher. Amen. It's anything too far. It's anything. 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 God is asking us today. Is anything hard for me to work out? Hallelujah. It don't matter how low or how deep, amen, you in sin. Amen. It doesn't matter how sick you are. Amen. Is anything too hard for God? All right. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We're talking about the God of the universe. Speak it. Speak it, word. Amen. We ain't talking about, amen, a famous movie star or a famous NBA or NFL football player. Uh -huh. Amen. But we're talking about the creator of this whole world Amen. and the creator of us. All right. Amen. And is anything too hard for him to do? All right. Amen. Amen. We just thank you. Mm -hmm. Amen. God deserves praise, as I heard the elders say. Amen. Amen. God deserves praise. Yes, Hallelujah. If we see somebody with a nice suit, Amen, we say that's a nice suit. Right. Amen, that's praising somebody. Amen. amen, but we can't praise, amen, the God of the universe. Yeah, yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. He's worthy to be to be praised. Yes, yes he is. Amen. Yes. People could praise me and I could not be worthy. That's right, go ahead, preach. Amen, because there's a fault somewhere in there. All right. Amen, I can't be perfect. Hallelujah, but God, amen, amen. he's perfect. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen, and he will stand by you and be with you in time of trouble. Amen, amen. amen. you got to call on him. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Call on him. Mm. You just got to call on him. Amen, amen. There's a whole lot of things happening in this world. Yes, yes. Amen, and I hear the other say the pastor, amen, was storing a house of food. Hallelujah, God done spoke to her. Uh -huh. Amen, it's a shortage of food yes. that's coming in the near future. Yes. Hallelujah, yes. if you ain't got none stocked up, amen, you're going to be in trouble. Right. Hallelujah, right. what good is money, amen, right. when it ain't no food. Amen, amen, amen. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. I know amen. someone that works in the grocery store. Yes. Amen, and they said, Y'all yeah, get all the meats and stuff that you can because we're running out. Yes, yeah. yes. Is anything too hard for God? Too hard for anything. Me. Nothing. You know, I've seen in the word that where Jesus, amen, he heard that Lazarus was sick. Yes, yes. Amen, and he came, mm -hmm. and Lazarus had died, and yes, then yes. he came. Amen. Amen, he ran into Martha. Amen, and she said, Amen. If you would have been here, amen, my brother wouldn't have to die. Amen. And he told her, amen, your brother, amen, he's going to live again. Hallelujah. But Martha, amen, she didn't understand what he, he was saying. Amen. And she said, amen, I know he's going to rise again on the last day. Hallelujah. Amen. But Jesus was talking about today. Hallelujah. Not in no resurrection. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus, amen. Amen. He went to the tomb. Amen. And told him, hallelujah, to move the stone away from the tomb. Right. Hallelujah. And he cried out and said, Lazarus, Lazarus. come first. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. And the word of God let us know that Lazarus came out of cave, amen, All right. out of his grave. Yes, he did. Yes. And yes. it said he was Banished from hook from head to toe. Right, go ahead, go ahead. Hallelujah. But a lot of people don't know. Amen. He was floating. Yes. Oh, glory. He was floating. Amen. How you gonna walk when you all wrapped up? Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh. We're talking about a big God. Yes. Hallelujah. That's right, teacher. All right. You know, he rose this man. You know, that was a hopeless situation. Right. Everybody crying. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. But God, amen, he yeah. is God. Amen. amen. He is who he is. Yes, he is. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Preach that. Preach that. And I seen in the 
word also. Uh -huh. That was Shadrach. Uh -huh. Meshach. Mm -hmm. And Abednego. Yeah, yeah. Amen. They were stoned in the lake of fire. Uh -huh. Amen. Because they didn't want to worship the king. Amen. Woo! And his other gods. Amen. And they threw him in the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. Amen. To burn him. Amen. But yeah. God, amen. He was in the fire. Hallelujah. Amen. When they opened up the door, amen, expecting them to be consumed. Hallelujah. Amen. And the man said, I see one, amen, that looked like the Son of God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. God didn't allow these things to happen, amen, just to say they happened. He did it to let us know, hallelujah, who he is. And what he is. Amen. All right. Amen. And I've seen amen. Amen. In the scripture. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let us know to praise him for who he is. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You don't have, God, you don't have to bless me with a new car. All right. Say that. God, you don't have to bless me Ooh. with a new house. Right. Amen. To be God. Right. Amen. He's God all by himself. Praise him and thank him today. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. And I'm just yes. telling you, I was going to go to North Carolina because my stepdad is in, in critical condition. He yes. in hospice. Yes. Amen. And they just gave him up. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But amen, I knew God put me here. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. A lot of things have happened to me oh. since I've been here mm -hmm. in Bethlehem, West Virginia. Amen. amen. And they wasn't so good. Amen. But I said, God, I know one thing for sure that I knew that you put me here. Amen. Hallelujah. And I said, God, I'm going to stay. Yes, Amen. yes, yes. I'm going to stay. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some come. Yes, yes. Some leave and go. That's right. That's right. But Amen. every once in a while, some stay. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. They stay. Amen. You know, we just thank God for it. You know, and I know in the military, they have certain people that that they put in certain countries, right. amen, to train. That's right. Amen, Pastor. Some have came in, mm -hmm. God build them up, bless them real good. Yes, and they move on. Yes. yes. Amen. But, amen. You and God use usually impact. Right. Good things. Yes, that's right. Amen, amen, amen. This is a training post. Yes, a training post. That's amen. right, preacher. That's right. right. Training post. That's, that's right. right. Amen. amen. You come in, amen. Yeah. You might be yeah. weak, but when you leave, you're going to be strong. Oh, that's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. I tell you, we just thank God. Ooh. Amen. Pastor God spoke to me and let me see that. All right. Amen. amen. He let me see that. Amen. It's a place that where he's going to make people, amen, he's going to build people up here. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. We just thank God for him today. Skill. You got my skill. Amen. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. We just thank build God. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. still not satisfied. All right. Amen. I'm going to go Don't for God. Satisfied. I am hungry for God. All right. All right. Hallelujah. I am hungry Ooh. for him. Ooh. Amen. And whatever I do is still in enough. That's right. That's right. No matter how he blessed me. Appreciated yes. it. Yes. Very appreciated yes. it. Yes. But I'm not satisfied because Amen. I want more. more. You know, Pastor Amen. God, he spoke to me. Amen. When I was going through all these sickness and all these yes, troubles yes, and stuff, yes. he said, stop serving me from afar off. Get up close. Right. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. And I put everything to a halt. Everything. everything. I started seeking him. Yes, that's right. I started seeking him. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you serve God from way back here, uh -huh. amen, you can't you can't really serve him. All right. Amen. You you a dib here, a dib there, a dib yes, there. Yes. 
that. But when you brought up on this present, how dare you to do all of that? Norton. How dare you to do all of that? Norton. You can't do that. Amen. You can't do that. You know, and, and I say this, when the doctor saw I was uh, wanting uh, pain pills, saying I was hurt because I want pain pills. <coughs> and I went, hallelujah, to the pharmacy. Yes, yes. Amen. They had this cream that you rub on you. It's got lidocaine and some <coughs> other things yes, in it. Yes. Amen. And this man, he act like I was a junkie. Amen. And when I left, I got at home, I got to thinking about that. Right. I got to thinking, I said, this man think I'm a junkie. Who do you think he is? Amen. And I opened up the door. I was going. I was going to tell him off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hallelujah. But God, amen, he sent the storm. Yes. I had to turn right around and come back in the house. I said, God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. I thank him. Hallelujah. Yeah. Don't you know that? That really makes me, amen, that really bothers me when people think, think that of me. Amen. amen, when people think I'm a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, that, that, that makes me mad. Yeah, yeah. Amen, I, I got a taxi because I needed something big because I bought a big screen television. Uh -oh. Amen, the taxi driver, this is what he said. He said, a lot of people is buying these televisions. Because they got that stem in this chair. <laughs> Hallelujah. This man don't even know. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. He don't even know. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Y'all, God is real. Yes, yes, he is. Yes, he is. And God is wanting to bless yes, us. Yes, he wants to bless us. Hallelujah. But we got yes. to be wise. Yes. Like the pastor, amen, you better, best better start, if you ain't got no, no meats and stuff, you best better stock it up as much as you can. Amen. Because when they lock down everything and they shut right. everything down, that's hallelujah, right. that's right. that right there is going to hurt the economy. We're going to be running out of a lot of things. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. But they're not letting people know. That's right. That's right. Because they know people are paying mm -hmm. and everything. So that's all. And when that happens, 
and you get a place like this where you can be, you can express yourself. We don't try to hold back anybody from the word of God to high up. They speak because we know within their heart where God has brought them out of. Right. A lot of people can't get up and say that because everybody wants to set you down and right. shut you up. Yeah. But it's not time to be shut up. It's time when other people went on to glory, they had the opportunity to be here yeah. to, to worship, to not feel like somebody is attacking them. For, for who they are. Right. But I just feel that that's how the Lord blesses. I don't feel about the size of the people that we have. I feel that God blesses each and every person in a different way. He has to train them to be the people that they are to worship Him. And worshiping Him, it, it can take a while. It's yeah. not, it's like, like you said, you got to uh, transfer yourself from one place to another to, to, to get to God in you. And so when you get to God in you, you're on the right path. But it's not overnight. You know, a lot of people say, well, well I got saved. I'm like, some may have. But it don't always come like that for people. Right. So sometimes it takes a process, a process of anything. If you cut a chicken up and you just have a, a whole chicken, well, you just can't put the whole chicken in the frying pan. Now, that whole chicken ain't going to fit in the frying pan. No, no. And the pastor, you know it's not. So it has to be cut up and have to be diced and whatever we have to do and clean it and all that. So that has to be a process to get in that skill. Yeah. And just in jumping the skill of one whole big thing, and you just laid it in the skill and say, okay, it's done. That's not how it is. And that's how we are. Right. We, we have to go from one thing to another thing to get where God wants us at. And, and still work on us to be the people that he wants us to be, but working on us from the inside out. Amen. That is so important yeah. that we learn that. Amen. And we learn to help other people to, to reach that destiny. That's why we say we call people because sometimes people can't speak like they want to speak. Right. They can't speak in our church because a lot of times people don't have time for them. Right. And they really don't. Right. But, but we're here to say, we're here to do whatever we need to do. We are servants. We serve the Lord. If you see me, you can see me on the street. If you want to say damn, that's fine with me. But I know who God is. Right. And I know who he made of me. But just keep on trusting God. Keep on believing what he's doing because he's doing great things great things in your life. You can't say he have not did great things, and he have. He have. And I, when we talking about the food, we were talking about the food, and I'm saying, you know, I'm hearing that that it was a shortage it's going to be. But Don have a deep freeze in there, and we got a deep freeze. So if somebody can need something, we always got something. So I can bless Robert, Robert can bless us, or vice versa. You can bless us, or 